Armor, Block, and Dodge are just three of the many defensive layers in Last Epic. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of those mechanics, how they work, how they're calculated, and provide a few build examples so you can see how they're used. Now I grouped all of these mechanics together. Though they prevent damage in different ways, they're calculated in a very similar way, as you'll see. So first up, let's talk about armor. Armor provides a percent mitigation to any damage that you receive from hits. Now if you aren't familiar what is considered a hit, it is everything that is not a damage over time effect. So ailments like bleed, poison, ignite, those are all considered damage over time. Anything else is in general considered a hit. Another thing to know is that uh, on the last line of the tools page here, it says that armor is 70% as effective against non-physical damage. So that means armor will prevent damage that you get from hits from elemental damage, for example, but it won't be quite as strong as it would be against physical damage. Say you were to take a hit that did equal parts physical and cold damage. If you were able to prevent 10 physical damage, you would only prevent seven cold damage um, because of your armor. Now the way that the game actually calculates the damage mitigation you get from the quantity of armor that you have is represented by this big scary looking equation here. Um, now we'll take a look at what this uh, equation graphed out looks like uh, in a later part of the video, um, but you can just know that it depends on your area level and the quantity of armor that you have. So as your area level goes up, uh, the effectiveness uh, the quantity of armor has starts to go down. So you'll get less mitigation uh, the higher up um, in area level you go. There is also a theoretical cap of 85%. Now I say theoretical because the, the curve is asymptotic, so it looks like this. It, it gets closer and closer and closer to 85%, but it doesn't actually ever reach it. And we'll see what that looks like later on. Pretty much any build will be able to fit some amount of armor in as a defensive layer, but there are some classes that will be able to do it better than others. Classes like Sentinel or Primalist that have access to uh, gear pieces that have more armor and ways to scale that armor can start to rely on armor as a primary defensive layer. So I have a couple of examples uh, of low to high investment of armor, so you can take a look at where your build might sit. So these are just some builds that I pulled off of the Last Epic Tools build tab, and I thought this was a great example to see how you can actually start to get some damage mitigation from armor even without or with very little investment. Um, so if we take a look at how much armor this build actually has, they only have about 510 armor, which isn't all that much, but that does translate to 16% armor mitigation. If we take a look at where that armor is actually coming from, um, we can see that almost all of it is coming from implicits on gear, with a little bit coming from idols as well. Now if you aren't familiar with the term implicit, um, if I hover over the helmet here, you can see there's two modifiers all the way at the top, armor and critical strike multiplier. These are modifiers that are inherent to the item, they're not crafted, so they're not prefixes or suffixes, they're just called implicits. Um, so if you pick good bases that have good implicits, you can actually get upwards of four to 500 armor pretty much with no investment. And so you can run around your maps with 16% damage mitigation pretty much for free. Now the last build I have to showcase armor is a primalist and they are getting into crazy levels of armor scaling at nearly 7K, which translates to a real nice mitigation of 69%. Now if we take a look at where all this armor is coming from, we can see that a lot of it is also still coming from implicits on their gear, but they're also investing into affixes. So they're crafting armor on, taking it on the tree, uh, scaling it, and they're also scaling strength for whatever build that they're doing. So they're also getting 388% increased armor just from their strength. Now obviously 97 strength is a ton, so that's not you know super easy. This is just to showcase how at really high levels of investment, you can start to get a ton of damage mitigation. Next up, let's take a look at block. Now don't mind the rest of the numbers of this work in progress character. I know I have 166 overcapped fire res, don't worry about it. Now block is surprisingly very similar to armor in how it's calculated, but it's comprised of two parts. The first is block chance. Now this is saying that when you receive a hit, hit same thing like with armor, um, you have a chance to block. If you successfully block, 
then you will apply the mitigation that you get from block effectiveness. So taking a look at the tools page for block, you can see that the equation for how much damage is mitigated uh, looks pretty similar to armor and that it's super complicated, but the only thing that we really need to worry about is that it is determined by how much block effectiveness you have and it is determined by the level of the area that you're in. So the higher the, the area level, once you get into level 100, the less effective your blocks become and um, there is diminishing returns. So there reaches a point where getting more and more and more block will just not get you all that much damage prevented. Now again, I wanna showcase this primalist, but this time for block. Um, they're actually over 100% chance to block, but most of that is due to the Bastion of Honor. If you're not familiar with this item, it gives 100% chance to block hits from nearby enemies. Uh, and if we take a look at their block effectiveness, um, they're getting most most of it from the shield and a good chunk from their rings as well. So just with this little bit of investment, well, a little bit from a very hard to find unique, but uh, just a couple of ring rolls, they're still able to mitigate 41% of damage taken pretty much from every hit they take. Now the average player is probably not just gonna have a bastion of honor kicking around unless they've been playing for quite a long time. But even without that crazy unique, uh, you can still get quite a lot of block chance. You can see this person has just packed as much block chance on their tree as possible, as well as still getting quite a lot of block effectiveness, still getting a max of 68% uh, block mitigation and a ton of block chance. Um, so this still requires quite a lot of investment and making sure that you have as much block and block effectiveness on your gear as you can, you can still get up there. One quick little tidbit I did want to mention is that you can actually get 100% chance to block from the Corsair set. You will actually get 100% of glancing blow chance converted to block chance. And so if you can get yourself to 100% chance to receive a glancing blow when hit, you will also block that hit. Now last up is dodge. Now your dodge rating says that if you are going to be hit, there is a chance uh, defined by your dodge chance to avoid taking that hit entirely. Uh, one important little thing to know is that anything that procs when you are hit will not proc because you're not hit, the hit doesn't happen. Um, it is also capped uh, or at a theoretical cap of 85%. And just like with the other mechanics that we saw, um, it's a crazy equation defined by your uh, aerial level and your dodge rating. But just like the other two mechanics, dodge will also only protect you against hits. It does not apply to damage over time. Now we get to get into some of the cool stuff, looking at some of the graphs. So if you wanna take a look at the numbers with me, feel free to stick around, otherwise, that was all the, the important mechanics and stuff. Um, also flashbang warning. I warned you. Yep. Okay, so this graph is uh, armor. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on the side here. So if we take a look, this should look familiar, kind of. Um, this is the armor equation. Um, and again, we don't care about any of the numbers. This is all just how they balance it and stuff, I'm sure. Um, but there's two equations. You can see this one is multiplied by 0.7, um, and that is just the, uh, the non-physical damage curve. Um, so if I turn on all of these things, so this is our 75% uh, armor cap, um, and this is the 75% times 0.7 armor cap for uh, non-physical damage. Um, and you can see uh, they both behave the same way. If we change the zone level here, I've got this little slider. Um, as you bring the zone level down, so now we're zone level one, you can see how much faster uh, it progresses. Actually, I'm gonna change uh, this X axis to be something more reasonable. Okay, so it's a little easier to see, cool. Um, but as we bring this out towards 100, uh, not negative 10, that doesn't work. Um, as, as we bring this out towards 100, you can see how that curve flattens out, showing us how uh, the effectiveness starts to fall off. Um, and I hope this also it'll illustrates the diminishing returns that you get uh, from scaling armor. So, you know, early on in the beginning here, you can just see how, uh, you know, how fast you start to gain, you know, damage mitigation from armor. Um, so if I add, uh... okay, so now I got this little slider, we can see. So early on here, so at like 300 armor. So that's the, the early on 
investment case we were talking about. You know, you're, you're mitigating about 11% of your physical damage. So if we just take this up once or twice, so like up to 500, so you gain 200 um, armor, which is like nothing, and you gain another, you know, 4% damage mitigation, right? So, but if we go all the way to the end here, kind of towards the end, so you're at 40,000 armor. Obviously, you're never gonna hit this, but just, just for the sake of illustration, right? Um, you're mitigating 73% of damage, which is like very close to the cap. Another 200, 500 even, um, you're still only mitigating 73% of damage. This number just goes up so slowly. Um, and this, I hope, illustrates the diminishing returns that I was talking about well. I actually think the wiki might be wrong here. Uh, this says 85%, cannot exceed 85%, which is correct. It cannot exceed 85%, but the max I have on this curve is 75%. Um, and if we just crank this, you know, to go out as far as we can, it might not even be like, yeah, so this is 74. So it's like, it'll probably get there as it ten tends towards infinity. But um, yeah, I guess you could take the limit if you really wanted to find out. We can also take a look at some of the other graphs. Um, so this one is for block effectiveness. Same thing, you can see how as you bring the uh, slider back down, this is the area level, um, you can see how uh, the block effectiveness becomes easier to scale You know, with lower values giving you more uh, mitigation. And as you crank it, um, this is how they, how they balance it based on area level. And again, this purple line is, is the theoretical max of 85%. And I mean, unsurprisingly, dodge looks exactly the same and well, we don't go negative, uh, performs the same way. So there you have it. There is armor, block, and dodge all in a nice neat little package with some examples for you. Uh, I hope you found this useful even though I didn't really include anything really on like the meta of how you should build your defenses because that's going to change you know that might change in the next patch where as I think the concepts and the mechanics of how these all work will stick around for a while so I hope you found this useful and as always never stop exploring. Dago.